Amen. We thank God for today. We thank God for our congregation here. And Amen. Those that are watching us by video, internet, whatever outlet you're checking Amen. us out on, we just want to thank God for being here and for you. We pray that something is said to encourage you as, as well as the congregation here, Lord, because God is good. Amen. He's good all the time. Holy Spirit, we just thank you for this opportunity to come today for people. We thank you, my God, for all that you have done for us and what you're doing for us right now. Today we want to minister about the Holy Spirit. Amen. To show the people, to tell them about what great things God is doing for them and what he shall do for us. We just recognize that he is the Almighty. Holy Spirit, help us to minister your word. Present it in a way that people will understand what's being said. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Can we say praise the Lord? Praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Amen. We've been talking from the book of Acts. We've been dealing with that. We've been dealing with that for a little while. Amen. Because the book of Acts is the Acts of the Apostles. It's the Acts where things of action takes place. Amen. Amen. We all get the fundamentals of the book of Acts down packed. We'll be in good shape. Praise the Lord. I call it the core principles of our salvation. It's when the Bible first started out. That's what I call it. Amen. When the church first started up. Praise the Lord. The New Testament church. Amen. Amen. The Holy Spirit had been active throughout the human history. The Old Testament as well as the New Testament talks about his continual operation, how he did things. Amen. Is that true? Amen. Amen. He was in the book of in Genesis, correct? Praise the Lord. Amen. He operated in Genesis all Amen. the way. We said, let there be. Things took place and happened. And it so did just that. Amen. Amen. The Holy Spirit. You know, a lot of people talk about the Holy Spirit and think it's just happening right now in the New Testament, but it has been going on a long time. Praise the Lord. It's not new. Praise the Lord. It's the same as it was in the book of Genesis. Praise the Lord. Is that right? Amen. The Holy Spirit moved upon the creation and formed the world. Yeah. Then he said, that's good. Praise him. Amen. 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 The world was void without any kind of shape. He said, let it happen. It happened. Last, he called it so with making a man, a human being. Praise the Lord. Made up his own image. Praise the Lord. The Holy Spirit talks about itself in, in Revelation. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Holy Spirit, along with the Son of God, manifests itself. Shows us the nature of God, how God conducts itself. Amen. That God is love. Amen. Yes, he is. There's nothing fake about God. Amen. He's real. Amen. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Yes. What he was at those of days of old, he's the same with us today. Amen. People talk so much about, oh, I wish I was back there in the Old Testament when God did this and God did that. Why do you wish that? He's still the same Amen. God. Amen. Praise him. He still moves like he moved yes, then. He the Bible said, if thou canst have faith, if thou canst believe, all things, things are, are possible. possible. If it was possible for them in the days of old, why can't it be possible for us today? Amen. Amen. We get so lax and so complacent and thinking that there's nothing happening today. It can't happen if you just trust in God. Amen. They believed in God. They had their faults. But they still took time to praise Amen. God. Amen. And as they praised God, the Spirit of God came upon them praise and began to move in their Hallelujah. midst. Hallelujah. Can someone say praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. And the same God can do the same thing today. And it's Amen. my job today to talk about the book of Acts. Praise the Lord. To talk about how God is moving today yes. in our midst. There's nothing new under the sun. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Well, blessed be the name of the Lord. The Bible says, again, rehearsing some of the scriptures we've said in time past in Acts 2, 38 and 39. Amen. We're going to be hitting it over and over again because the Bible said faith comes by hearing. Amen. And hearing by the word of God. 
not having heard, but by hearing and hearing the word of God. Means you gotta hear it over and over again so it can sink into your cranial cavity Amen. and get in your spirit. That's right. Lest we forget it. Because it's so easy to forget the word. Amen. There's a lot of negative things that's running around. Amen. I choose to try to forget the negative and think about the positive. Amen. Amen. And the Spirit of God will, 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 will remind you. That's right. Of what's going on. Praise the Lord. Especially when you need it. That's right. You don't need to remind you some kind of stupid inner thing that you learned from days of old that was negative. That's right. There's no edification of that. Amen. But God come to edify Himself. Praise the Lord. And His Word. And the Bible says in Acts, the two, second chapter, the 38th to 39th verse, Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. For the promises unto you and your children, to all that are afar off, even as many as... The Lord shall call. Praise the Lord. It's good to know that Paul Peter talked about that on the day of Pentecost. The day when they was in the upper room. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. And my Bible says that Peter answered indicating that three major components in the conversion. You must repent, which means turn from sin to be baptized in the name of Jesus and publicly declare our repentance and faith. Plus it is symbolic uh, identifying us with the death and burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ. The Holy Ghost is given as a gift and a seal of conversion empowering the believer for life of faith. Praise the Lord. I like Praise that. Saying that the Holy Ghost Yes. Yeah is a seal of conversion Hallelujah. empowering the believer for the life of faith. I'll come back to that scripture in a minute. One of the major things of the book of Acts is that the message of salvation through Jesus Christ extends not just to the people of Israel but also beyond them as many as God called the Gentiles were afar off. Two senses. They were geographically far removed from Israel, but even more, more significant, they were far from the knowledge of one true God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now go back here to the 38th verse about seal of conversion. This is what it says again. It says, one, they must repent, which means turn from sin. Now why do you make such an emphasis on that? In order for you to do anything for God, if you want to get the Holy Ghost, you got to repent. Amen. I got to keep driving that on. Repent. Turn from where you at to where you should be going. Amen. Amen. A lot of people don't want to do. It. They don't want to see. They want to see the Holy Ghost and everything right now, and they haven't lived nothing. They haven't Amen. turned from nothing. I've confessed God. I want you to forgive me of my sins and and uh, and let me go forward with you. No, they want to think that because they can put money in the church. While they can have a good, some good deeds, they go all the way to heaven. Amen. <clears throat> the Bible says faith without works is dead. That's right. You got to have some faith and you got to have some works to go along with it. Amen. You told Peter, uh, not Peter, Martha, Martha, you chose, Mary chose the best thing. Uh-huh. A lot of people think they, they do a lot of cooking in the church. They're on their way to heaven. That's right. Don't need to turn from their ways or nothing, right. but they want to do all that. And some of them are good cooks. I've, I've tasted some of the food. They're good. Amen. It's good. Amen. You've seen that. I make and burn some food. Praise the Lord. Not a little word burn, but cook some food. Amen. Some people like to say, well, you can stuck your foot in it. Well. Now, that terminology, when I first heard the terminology, <coughs> I didn't know what he was talking about. But I was watching a cartoon character on TV and <laughs> And uh, this guy said, he had some food, he was eating, he said, man, you really stuck your foot in that. And the girl person said, yeah, I just wiped my foot out. <laughs> it wasn't talking about that sense. It was talking about uh, they did a good job cooking. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. But as we look at this, praise the Lord, uh, Martha was concerned about Mary 
not helping out in the kitchen. Amen. To help feed the people. It can get taxation, taxing when you're doing all the cooking by yourself. Is that right? That's right. Especially right. you got a multitude you're trying to cook for. Her, and Amen. she thought a Mary should come and help her. Amen. And Martha and Jesus said, Martha, you're troubled about many things. But Mary chose the best thing. Amen. Which is the word of God. Praise the Lord. Martha did a good thing. But Mary chose the best. Praise the Lord. She wanted the word. That's saying something to us today. Cooking is good. We need to cook. We need to eat. But it should come a time where you hear the word. Amen. When you come to church, it's good to hear the good music. Praise the Lord. Being played. And we can we got some good singers. We got some good musicians. Amen. But it comes time. You gotta hear the word. Praise some of you don't Lord. come. One lady came one time, she just wanted to hear us uh, uh, the son sing. And then she's gonna get out of here. She came the wrong time. Uh huh. But music was all over. She said, "Sing me a song." Sing me a song. But my woman, he said, "Sing it. Time is over. It's time to hear the word." Amen. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. You got to put Amen. things in perspective. Amen. We have a Amen. section of time for singing, a time for praying, Amen. and we have a time for speaking, teaching, preaching the word of God. Amen. Amen. We want to get keep it all together. Right. Keep it in line. Sooner or later, we're going to have time where we're going to have more time for praying for the sick. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. And, and take time of that, and the Spirit of God will come in our midst. Amen. And will heal those that are sick and afflicted Amen. in our midst. Heal them. Thank you, Jesus. Heal them. Heal them. Heal them. Heal them. Heal them. So be it. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Getting to the Word today. Praise the Lord. There is a promise to us. There are benefit packages yes. in the Holy Spirit. Yes. Amen. There is good things that God has in store for those who walk in them rightly. Uh -huh. Who do it according to the Bible. Yes. Let's read that little uh, commentation again. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> praise the Lord. In that 38th verse. And Peter it indicated three major components in conversion. We must repent, which means turn from sin. A lot of people don't want to turn from them. Amen. They want to still continue on. Uh -huh. They figure that if they made it and he got ahead in the world system, they can do the same thing in the church. Uh -huh. And it has happened that way. I was listening to one preacher talk about one time. He said he don't know how people got into the position where they're at in the church. Somebody had never repent. Amen. What it was, they gave a lot of money. Uh -huh. And if you got a lot of money, you can that push you right onto the top. That's right. They do it in the world system, so they're trying to do it in the church. Uh-huh. And once they get a, a prominent role in the church, they can mess up everything. Mm -hmm. They can cause all kind of habits. That's right. Some preachers lose their job, their, their ministry, That's because right. people got in the wrong position. That's right. They even kick them out the door. They can be the founder of the church. Amen. Somebody get in the, in the position, and they get the removal of their power, they'll kick them out of the church. Amen. Amen. This happened. This is real stuff. Amen. Amen. But it says you got to do. Two things, three things. You got to repent. Amen. To be baptized in the name of Jesus publicly and declare, uh, talk about you, or you forget you got away from sin. You turn from sin to faith. We had the baptism. Now, baptism is good, but baptism is not going to save you. Amen. Some people think because they get baptized, they're on their way to heaven. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. That ain't going to do it. Water can't do squat for you. It's a Amen. symbolic figure. Amen. You went down to death. You rose up to victory. Amen. Praise the Lord. One lady said, uh, <coughs> my sister did not get get, get baptized. I, I, <coughs> I don't know if she's going to make it hit. Honey, water ain't going to save you. Amen. 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 You got people going down to death, a wet demon. Go down dry demon, come up wet demon. Amen. Lord. That ain't where it's at. You got to turn from sin. That's right. Accept Jesus Christ. That's right. And the Holy Ghost gives you power to be and desire to accept Him. Amen. But you're not filled with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen, President. You got to have a desire to want to be saved. That's right. Amen. I grew up in the church. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. But I, after I heard the word, I have had the desire to turn from my ways. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. 
I wanted, I needed to turn from when I heard the word, faith came by hearing. Praise the Lord. And the Holy Spirit gave me the, uh, the, 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 the ability to turn from. Amen. I, you know, these people say, well, I, you, you, need to do it on your, you can't do it on your own. I told you about the case where this one individual said he's going to make time to go and get himself together with God. Been hearing the word all that many years. Mm -hmm. Day in, week in, week out. <clears throat> I'm going to do it on such and such day. Time is not promised to nobody. Amen. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. When he decided it was time to turn, he died. Amen. When the Spirit comes upon an individual and, 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 and impresses them to uh, turn from or receive Christ, they got to do it right then. Amen. Amen, praise the Lord. Because the devil is looking at you. That's right. Mm -hmm. He's going to mess with you. Amen. Amen. He don't care about you. That's right. Some people, people think that certain people care about them. They don't care a thing about you at all. Amen. But God does. That's right. When God, when the Spirit of God comes upon you and it compels you to turn, Amen. repent, you better move. Amen. Can't nobody uh, preach you out of conviction. That's right. It's the Spirit of God that does that. Amen. There's no preacher around here, I don't care who he is. That's right. Can't preach you on no conviction. He just Amen. lost sounding words, just tickle the brass. That's right. It's the Spirit of God that does that. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. I know that's right. Amen. Praise the Lord. Bible says here again, listen to what it says here again, praise the Lord, in this particular area here, praise the Lord. Repent. Turn from sin. Be baptized in the name of Jesus. Publicly declaring, uh, you know, people can't, some people do that privately. They don't want nobody to know that they are saved. We used to have a lady come over here. She used to come over here, uh, still go to her church, but she wanted to make it back to her church before the bus come back. Right. Amen. An older woman too. She's a nice, sweet lady, but she kept running real quick to get back to her house. But, That's right. Honey, you're messed up. Amen. Amen. Think of what where about what people think. People That's ain't gonna right. put you into heaven or hell. That's right. I know. That's right. You gonna put yourself there. Amen. Amen. By your actions. That's right. Amen. I care less what people think about me. Amen. I like to think well about me, but hey, I'm not going to lose no sleep over it. And you Amen. should not either. Amen. But this lady, before we got out, she would make sure she got back for the bus come down this road. That's right. That bondage. It is. God's not given the spirit of fear, but a power of love and a sound mind. Amen. We, 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 been, we, been, we took the curse from us. The curse has been taken from us. Amen. We are not under the curse of the bondage of all that mess anymore. You know Amen. that? Amen. We've been redeemed. And we've been set free. Praise the Lord. And whom the Son of Man is set free is free, is free indeed. Amen. Can someone say praise the Lord? Praise and the Lord. then it says here, then the Holy Ghost is given to you as a gift and a seal of conversion. And when I think about seal of that, I think about what my mother used to do years ago. And she used to do some heavy can. Used to can the food, the meat in the winter, summertime for in the wintertime. Oh my God, that meat was good. Green beans, poultry, preserves. Mm. Wintertime, man, we 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 was kids. We were uh, we ready for it. And she look at a pop bust one of those jars. You hear it still pop pop. We knew it was all right. Preserved plums, preserves, oh my God. Whew. I think about it right now. <laughs> Amen, praise the Lord. I'm going to have to try to do something that myself. What about you? <laughs> Amen, praise the Lord. Now, people don't do that no more. But look what it says here again about the seal. Praise the Lord. It says here that you, it's been giving you a gift of and seal of conversion. I mean, he's sealing you, <coughs> preserving you. Amen. Amen. So you won't spoil. Praise him. Hallelujah. A lot of people get spoiled. Uh -huh. Their effectiveness is lost, being lost because they haven't been sealed. Amen. That's why a lot of people fall on the wayside who get saved and, and they fall on the wayside. They been, haven't been sealed Amen. yet. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. They have a long time, never been sealed. Amen. But been saved a long time, never, never got the Holy Spirit. And some kind of thing coming in to knock them off their feet. That's right. Amen. Praise the Lord. 
And some of those that got the Holy Spirit, they didn't get it right or, or they forgot what they're supposed to be doing. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You got bad people saying they say they got the Holy Ghost and they still didn't mess it up. Amen. And the reason why they mess it up, they haven't been properly trained. That's right. Been properly informed about the gives and the do's and the don'ts of keeping preserving that. Because you can get something sealed, a preserver that can be sealed, that can be messed up. Amen. Inside that green beans, you could have some bad green beans. Uh-huh. You know that? It was sealed, but inside it, you had some green beans. It was messed up. You wasn't observing right when you got together. So that stuff going to mess up that whole jar. Is that right? Amen. Amen. When she made those, uh, uh, that, those uh, that meat, that pork, or whatever it was she had in there, if she didn't have all that stuff right and not a whole lot of fat in there, that thing wasn't going to be right. Amen. Spoiled meats. Preserving spoiled meats. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's a devastating effect. Isn't that right? Amen. Praise the Lord. So it is true about those that, who do get the Holy Ghost, they're not, they don't keep themselves together right. Amen. Amen. Amen, praise the Lord. And they stick out some of the old former traits that they had in time past that linger like, you know what the Bible says about lay aside every weight and sin that's so easy to set you? Amen. A lot of people still got a lot of weights. That's right. Tagging behind them. Uh-huh. Amen, praise the Lord. When they prune the tree, they take a lot of stuff off of it that don't need to be there. Uh-huh. Even we get who say we got to cut loose a lot of things. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. 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 The Holy Spirit. I got to move on, praise the Lord. About the Holy Spirit, praise the Lord. Amen. It's a seal. <clears throat> praise the Lord. It's a seal, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. A seal, a gift and seal of conversion. It empowers a believer for a life of faith. <clears throat> a life of faith. This is a life of faith that we are enjoying today. Amen. We walk by faith and not by sight. Is that right? That's right. We don't know what's going to happen down the road. Amen. But we know if we keep, take God along with us, we're going to go forward. All right. Amen. Amen. We may stagger a little bit, but God will give us strength to go praise forward. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, let's move on here. Praise the Lord. Amen. He comes, uh, he can quicken and make us alive. The word of God brings life. Amen. The Bible says in John 6, and 63, it says, uh -huh. in the, it is a spirit that quickened us. The spirit that quickens the flesh profit nothing. The words I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. The word comes to do it. You don't have to dress it up. Uh -huh. Put a big tag on it. Uh -huh. The word will speak for itself. Amen. Just present the word and God will activate Amen. it in your life. Hallelujah. But like a seed being activated in the ground, praise the, praise the Lord. Once it gets in there and it starts germinating right, that seed's going to grow. Amen. So it's true about you when the Word of God gets in your life. The Holy Spirit will get in there and activate itself. Amen. And start cleaning you up. That's why people have so much trouble in the church because they haven't been, got the Word activated in their life. Amen. The Spirit of God can't come in there and move like it's supposed That's to move right. because you ain't getting nothing. Amen. The Bible Amen. says nothing from nothing leaves nothing. You gotta have an ear to hear when you the words being presented to you. That's right. So faith can come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Is Amen. that right? Amen. Amen. So look at the scripture again. It is the spirit that quickens you, makes us alive. Amen. Makes us alive. The flesh prophets done. People think that <clears throat> I think I talked about it last time about the uh, old uh, Samson. Praise the Lord. Did I talk about it about Samson last time? I thought I did. Praise the Lord. It was not the hair that caused Samson to be so strong. That's right. Amen. It was his commitment to God. Amen. The more you're committed to God, God will begin to move mightily in your life. Amen. Amen. He'll move on your job. Amen. Even with all that mess going Hallelujah. on the job, the Spirit of God will still move on there. Praise the Lord. All you got to do is keep your heart together. Amen. I remember when he told me that one day, I told you about that, I was upset. I was mad as I don't know what. I was upset. But he told me as I was getting ready, I was getting ready to go down and give him a piece of my mind. You know, you need all your mind you got going on anyway. You know what I'm saying? You don't get no need to give nobody a piece of your mind. You need everything you got. You ain't using that much of your mind anyway. So you need to keep all you can have. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. And, 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 and the Spirit of God said, hey, it'll work itself out. 
I said, what are you talking about working yourself out? I go, I'm going to work it out myself. Every time you get in a situation, you can stir the pot wrong. Amen. Amen. You let God get in it, he'll stir it right. Amen. Amen. Sometimes it's rough to do, but if, you, if you, you've got God in your life and the Holy Spirit down there dwelling in you, he'll keep you together. Amen. He'll keep you until that day. Is that right? Amen. Amen. We need God. Yes. Amen. Listen to what it says in again in that particular scripture, John 6 and 63. Unaided by the Spirit, the human reason cannot dis discern spiritual truth. The Jews wrongly believed studying the scriptures or the work of the law were sufficient for the spiritual understanding. The Spirit of God makes you sufficient. Amen. The Spirit of God makes you sufficient when you're dealing with the Word of God. Amen. Many open up the Word of God to Amen. you. Amen. Show you the inside track. It's not enough to just read the Bible. That's right. It's to get an understanding of what you Amen. read. Amen. Some of you say, I don't understand the Bible. Well, you got to start praying a little bit and, let's, and ask the Spirit of God to give you the understanding. That's right. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, He'll give you all kinds of versions of the Bible. But the Spirit of God is going to have to do the rest. Amen. Amen. You study, and then God will do the rest. Amen. God will open up to you. That's why the word is so pregnant. It's, it, you read one day, and it means you get more in-depth about what you're reading. That's right. Amen? Amen. Amen. And the more you read about it, the more faith comes. And the more faith comes, the more they educate you. Amen. The more they educate you, the more you're informed. That's right. And the more you're formed, the better you live the life for God. Praise the Lord. Can someone say praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Amen. He can renew those who are bound by sin. You know, a lot of people are bound by sin. That's right. Amen. And they've been looking for every channel in the world to get delivered. Amen. <clears throat> praise the Lord. I know that's right. Amen. They're looking to all these different kind of gods. This is why all these other things creeping up now. Mm -hmm. They're all coming to the United States now. And right. We got a new thing going on. There ain't nothing new. The same demonic force going on, been going on. And they trying to get delivered over there. And they come over here and we try to do our, their thing. That's right. <laughs> I go down the street or go in the, the supermarket today and I see, I see these people going through their other channels, these other things. Amen. Praise the Lord. Be a spectacle of themselves. Trying to be a, a wonder. Praise the Lord. Amen. You don't have to go and try to denounce him. Amen. Praise the Lord. Just do what you're, you're supposed to do. Amen. If y'all have crossed, your paths crossed, you can talk to them. But you can't talk to them if you don't know nothing. That's right. They'll trip you up. And you'll be saying, uh, you know what you said is right? And it's one of those ladies say all the time. It's one of the mother who we know, but well, she's gone now. This little lady used to smoke all the time like a chimney. We used to go up that street there like a chimney, puffing, going up, puffing, coming back. And this mother talked to her and said, Honey, it's not what goes on in MC. You know, you mess with your body with that cigarette smoking. Only outside the pack, it does say, it does say that this could be had to your health. You know that? Amen. It says that. It's still on there, I think. I never smoked a day in my life, but I still read. I can read. Praise the Lord. Amen. And that woman got tired of her saying that. She said, Mother, it's not what goes in the foul of the mouth. It's what comes out. She blew her up with her own words. Amen. Amen. She stopped talking about her. She stopped saying, Well, you're going to do what you want to do. Now, that woman had had some comments since she would deal with that. That's right. I mean, if she had more informed correction, she could have deal with that woman. Amen. Amen. I know that's right. Amen. Amen. You better know your word when you deal with Amen. the devil. The devil that's put right. your own words on. He did the same with Jesus. Amen. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. Put your own scripture on Jesus. Then Jesus said, man should not live by word and not by word, by bread alone, but by word and see that mouth of God. You got to come back strong. Amen. When the devil comes to you, you come back stronger than he. Amen. Don't be weak about talking that. I, you know, you know, you may be right. The Holy Spirit in you will make you rise up. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Like Peter, these men are not drunk as you suppose. 
Well, but this is that that Joel talked about in the Old Testament. Praise him. He was strong, came back. They said, all oh, these people are drunk. No, they're not drunk. This is what was prophesied in days of old. Amen. You got to come strong. That's right. And the Holy Spirit will give you that notch and the strength that you need. Amen. You may have been a week before you got saved. You can be strong. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. It's the Spirit of God that quickens the flesh. The flesh profits nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. The word is not dead. It's alive. Amen. Amen. Why is it not dead but it's alive? Because God's alive. Amen. And it's the spirit of God that comes up on you. It's the spirit of God that moves you and leads you and guides you into all truth. Amen. Can someone say praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. In Ephesians, the second chapter, the first verse says, And you have he quickened who were dead in trespasses of sin. Amen. And you have he quickened. When the Spirit of God comes up on He will quicken you. He'll make you alive. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Is that right? Amen. He'll make you alive. Praise the Lord. I know that's right. Amen. Paul was talking about this in this particular book. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Sometimes we was in trespassing and lapse or our sins, our shortcomings. We was apart from God, but people were, were without the the, uh, the 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 true spiritual life. You know, a lot of people try to be spiritual, but they're not spiritual. Amen. I mean, they're not really got their act together. They're spiritual, Amen. but they don't have their act together with God. Amen. Amen. But they've been around so long, and they know all the the cliches that they uh -huh. say when you get to say, "God bless you, brother." Uh huh. Hallelujah. And then curse you out when you walk past that door. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Is Amen. that right? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. But when the Spirit of God comes, He will quicken you. Amen. Uh, who were dead in trespasses and sin. A lot of people are dead and in their sins and they want to come out. They can't come out because they don't have the desire to come out. Amen. Amen. If you want to come out, God will let you come out. Come on out of there. That's right. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Listen what it says. Apart from Christ, people are without uh, true spiritual life. In this state, the most vital part of the human personality is dead. Those people cannot be, very, be their own efforts, do their own efforts. They cannot be genuine. They cannot generally uh, enjoy the fellowship of Christ or meet his requirement. You don't let Christ come and you can't meet the requirement of what it is to Amen. basically the core Amen. subject of being saved. Amen. But if the Spirit of God comes upon you, you have a desire to change. God will come up on you and praise change your life. Lord. That's good news, praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. That's good news. The Holy Spirit has not only revealed the means of God's word, he also makes them come alive in your spirit. When the word comes alive in your spirit, it'll change your life. Amen. Amen. Amen, praise the Lord, if you want to be changed. I know that's right. Amen. The word of God will find you. That's right. I don't know what I'm doing this right or wrong. If you read the Word of God, it's going it to find you. I'm here. It's going to be like a flashlight. Amen. You Amen. find out those dark spots in your life. That's right. If you want to really change. There's one lady who say one time, all the time, she liked talking to the preacher. I just, just come out of, well, uh, just come out of Sunday school class. We had something called Sunday school class where I came from. And that was a, like a Bible class. And we had a good Bible teacher. He Amen. break things down. I mean, break it down where uh, even a food need not to have. That's right. And when there's hope for a food, there's hope for you and me. Is Amen. that right? Amen. Praise the Lord. I mean, the man would break it down. He studied his word. Amen. And took it step by step to show you A, B, C, D. Amen. And then when the preacher come after Sunday school, she went over and talked to him, got his face. I just didn't understand what they were saying today. You got a teacher up there to break it down for you, and you don't want to listen to what he's got to say. Now, if I could have heard, and I was young then, I know there was hope for somebody else. Amen. She's two, three times at my age, and she got up in his face. I just didn't understand what it was. You know, you got people like forever learning, never coming to knowledge of truth. Amen. 
because they don't want to. That's right. But if you got the Holy Spirit in your life, He will help you. Amen. He will equip you. Yes, He will. He will show you yes, and give you the understanding because Praise He comes to teach us yes. and show us yes. the way of life. Hallelujah. Is that right? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know that's right. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Holy Spirit not only reveals the meaning of God's Word, He makes them come alive in your life. You know, we got those little deals we go and watch. I like I watch that. Moses, that was good. Amen. They dramatic, dramatized yeah. it. They got one out now called uh, Jonah. They got another one called Joshua. They dramatize it. Amen. 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 It makes it more exciting. Put the music behind what have you. Amen. But you don't need all that drama. Just read the word. Amen. You got good imagination. They tell me when you read it, you got more imagination than you can when you watch it. Amen. Is that right? Amen. I know it's true because I've done it before. Because I was a praise of the Lord. Now I got some Amen. some audios that I listen to, and and when I'm by myself, I can I just imagine what's going on there. You know, your mind can go on with it. You know, is that right? Amen. Because faith does come by hearing, man. You, man, is that happening going on again? I mean, when we watched Moses, Moses was good. Amen. Amen. But the reason why I can appreciate Moses is because I read it already. Amen. Amen. When you read about something, you can appreciate what it's talking. You can tell when they deviate and go away the way they want amen, to go. Amen. Amen. But see, the word comes to bring a life to us. That's right. It says here, the Holy Spirit not only reveals the meaning of God's word, but also uh, makes them come alive in your life. Amen. We want the word to come alive yes. in our life. Yes. Amen. People say, oh, this is so archaic and what have you. Yes, yeah, archaic if you don't want to know about God. Amen. But I want to know what I can know yeah. about it because I found out when a man's ways please the Lord, yeah. he may give my enemy to be at peace. So I'm going to please him yeah. so I can get myself together. What Praise about you? Him. Praise Amen. him. Hello, somebody. Yeah, I just don't know. I heard this a long I, I don't even hear, I don't hear people like that. Amen. Listen up. Praise the Lord. <laughs> In 2 Corinthians, 3rd chapter, 6 verse, who also had made us able ministers of the New Testament. Not of letter, but of the spirit. For the letter killeth, but the spirit gives life. That's heavy, isn't it? Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Who also have made us able ministers of the New Testament. Praise the Lord. Made us able ministers of the New Testament. Amen. Praise the Lord. Able ministers of the New Testament. Praise the Lord. Not of the letter, but the Spirit. For the letter killeth, but the Spirit giveth life. This is what this says here, praise the Lord. The word for ministers is also translated as a deacon. Praise the Lord. A broad term that does not refer to a professional class or a clergy or a priest. The New Testament was prophesied in Jeremiah, the 31st chapter, 30 to the 33 verse, established by Jesus' death in Luke 22 and 20, and ministered by Paul. The letter killeth refers to the law of the Old, Old Covenant, which was not designed to give life. It only revealed sin. But the Spirit takes a proclamation of the gospel and creates new life by faith. Did you hear that? Praise the Lord. Amen. In the old letters, it did a little bit different. Amen. We are there to be able to bring life, but just to inform you, but the New Testament, it tells you the, how you can get yourself together. Amen. Amen. We need to get ourselves together. Amen. I like reading the Old Testament because the Old Testament complements the New Testament. Praise the Lord. Amen. You need both of them. Amen. It's like water and it's like Wet, you need them both. Amen. Is that simple? Is that right? Oh, praise the Lord. I know that's right. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Who also had made us able ministers to the New Testament, not of the letter, but of the Spirit. For the letter killeth, but the Spirit giveth life. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. The law of the Old, Old Covenant. The letter killeth refers to the law of the Old Testament, Old Covenant which was the, not designed to give life. It was only to reveal sin. The Spirit takes a proclamation of the gospel 
it creates new life by faith. Praise our Romans 8 chapter the 10th through, through the, uh, and the and the 10th verse in the 10th chapter, 70 verse of Romans. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. The word is right. Amen. And it's there to help us out. The Spirit of God can renew you. The Holy Spirit restores us because God is merciful. You know, God's word helps us out. Amen. Amen. You can get depleted of your strength because of what you're going through. That's right. But the word of God can give you strength. Amen. And it takes the Holy Ghost to repent and replenish you. Amen. Amen. Timothy Titus 3 and 5 says, But not by works of, of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing and the regeneration of and renewing of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit comes to renew you. Amen. Renew your strength. Yes. Makes you more powerful than you was the day before. You was weak. God come to renew you. Amen. Make you strong. You become, you've been, you've been attacked on every end. But when you still hang in there with God, trust in his word. Amen. He renew your strength. Yes, he will. You'll be able to mount up like a wings of yes. eagles. Is that right? Amen. Amen. You know, I seen an eagle not too long ago. Been a little while ago, praise the Lord. Those guys are powerful. Is that right? Amen. And I've seen, uh, I've seen an owl, <laughs> and I've seen uh, what kind of black bird they call? Praise the Lord. Those are powerful individuals. And they got wings and powerful. God wants you to be powerful. Amen. And serving Him. Don't be weak. But he wants to give you strength. You say nothing's happening in your way. You can make things happen. Amen. Get yourself together with God's word. Let it happen. Go visit the sick. Go lay hands on somebody in the combination home. Amen. Go tell somebody about what God is. Help somebody out that needs help. Amen. Amen. All these things will rejuvenate you. Yeah. And the Spirit of God comes and says, because you did this, I'm going to do that for you. Amen. It's called a law of sowing and reaping. That's right. Praise the Lord. Pray for the sick. You can talk to you on the phone all the time, tell you about how sick you are. Say, let me pray for you. Amen. Then you'll feel good about it. And when you got some sick and God will deliver you, say, this is why you got delivered. Amen. It works that way. I'm here to tell you. That's right. The Holy Spirit will speak to you. Tell you about what's going on. Can someone say praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Amen. I know that's right. He comes to give you strength. He has power to fortify your, your spiritual man. We are all spirits. Amen. Inside of we have a spirit called the inner man. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. When I leave this world one day, my spirit is going to leave. Amen. The body is going to stay down here. The real me is going to move on. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen, praise the Lord. Because God's a spirit. And those that worship us worship in spirit as well as in truth. Can someone say praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Amen. This one says, the Ephesians the third chapter, the 16th verse says, that he would grant you according to his richest glory to be strengthened with the might, his might, by his spirit in the inner man. The inner man. He wants to strengthen your inner man. Amen. Don't you want to be strengthened? Amen. I don't want you to be pleading. You know, we use a lot of medication down there. We use vitamins to give us strength, the, the vitamin A, B, and so on and so forth. Because sometimes our body is lacking this and lacking that. But God wants you to be strong. And whatever's lacking in your life, spiritually speaking, God wants you to give you strength. Amen. God will be, make you be capable of being able to operate. So when the devil tries to attack you, he will not knock you off your feet. Amen. He'll cause you to go home and sit down. Because somebody rolled their eyes at you wrong or said some kindly word to you. You are strong and mighty in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. You're not a baby Christian no more. Paul said, when I was a child, I spoke as a child. When I kind of became a man, I put away childish things. Amen. Now I see through a glass. Hey, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I see through a glass. It was in the, in the first Corinthians, the 13th chapter, right? Amen. Amen. They talk about love. 
We got to learn to love. Have love in our hearts, not hatred and animosities. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. He sanctifies you. The Holy Spirit sets you apart for a, a sacred purpose. He purifies you and, and frees you from sin. Efficiently making you, uh, you more holy. Praise the Lord. We want to be holy. Amen. I want to be holy. Amen. The only way to be holy is by learning God's word and doing it. Amen. According to the word. That's what holiness Amen. is all about. Holiness is not all about taking this off and taking it off. That's right. It's getting your heart together. That's right. Amen. Taking all that mess out of your heart. Amen. You're not going to dress like in a, in a super fly dress. It, it draws people in a bad element to your midst. Is that right? Amen. But that's not what makes you holy. By wearing a long swing, a long dress. That's right. That's right. It's by getting your heart together. That's right. Amen, praise the Lord. That's right. I'm telling you something with the, the facts, praise the Lord. Some people might say, oh man, you can't do this. Oh, forget about what they think. That's right. Let's go with what the word says. Amen. Amen. I've come this far by trusting in God's word, not by what man thinks. Amen. You got to do the same thing. But get your life together. Repent, turn from. Let God give you the Holy Spirit. Get the Holy Spirit by asking Him for it. After you get saved, it's not a one package deal. When you got saved, you got the Holy Spirit. You didn't know it's not that way. That's right. He told his disciples, You go back to the upper room, you tear it up until you be endued from power on high. I mean, they had to make preparations. Amen. Amen. It's enough for them to walk with Him, but they had to do something more to get some more power. The seal. The, the Holy Spirit is the gift, the seal that we need. To preserve us and keep us together Amen. until that day. We need to be preserved and keep us until He comes back for our lives. Amen. Praise the Lord. Don't be like the five foolish virgins. They was clean, but they was foolish. Amen. They didn't have extra. What had extra went on me? Amen. Praise the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this day. We thank you for these who are here right now. I pray that something was said to encourage us, oh God. Oh God, there are benefits in serving God and have me filled with the Holy Spirit. We'll talk about it more as time progresses. Oh God, we want to learn about how to get strengthened. We want to learn more about how to be renewed. We want to learn more about He sanctifies us. He makes us into the image of Christ. We want to learn that He is a comforter and a guide. He gives us power. Days come, we'll learn about more about their power. Amen. The more you learn about it, expose to something, the more you can operate in it. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for these here today. And I pray something for said encourage us. Watch over them, protect them. And I pray for those who don't know you as their Savior. Just say, Lord, I'm a sinner. And I recognize it. And I know I'm not serving you. But I want to serve you. Will you come to my life and change it? Make me whole and complete. In Jesus' name, I accept you right now. Amen. Amen. Shake somebody's hand and say, God bless you.